Hey, my name's Rachel. Welcome to my channel. Um, I am the face behind Bear Valley Fibers. Um, this video I filmed previously and I am just slicing it together as a quick guide to put together your new circular sock knitting machine or RCSM. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Um, the email is in the description box below and uh, happy cranking and um, yeah, thank you for supporting us. Okay, so when you get your machine out of the box, it's gonna come with no needles installed, but that's a really easy thing to do, I swear. Um, and nothing else is installed. So, um, depending on how you're mounting it, if you wanna use the table mount, that's great. We'll show you how to use that. If you are screwing these in directly to a table, um, it does come with bolts. Um, however, I would highly recommend that you uh, go to a hardware store and find the ones that you want to use that has like big washers and stuff. Um, because every table is different, I didn't include those. So anyways, here we go. So the first thing that you do when you're ready to set up your machine is not put your needles in it. It's to install your table mount. And it just clips on together just like that. Okay, so when you get your machine out of the box, it's gonna come with no needles installed, but that's a really easy thing to do, I swear. Um, and nothing else is installed. So um, depending on how you're mounting it, if you wanna use the table mount, that's great. We'll show you how to use that. If you are screwing these in directly to a table, um, it does come with bolts. Um, however, I would highly recommend that you uh, go to a hardware store and find the ones that you want to use that has like big washers and stuff. Um, because every table is different, I didn't include those. So anyways, here we go. So the first thing that you do when you're ready to set up your machine is not put your needles in it. It's to install your table mount. And it just clips on together just like that. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your bolts and you're going to stick them in this hole. There is no screwdriver involved. Now, you want to do this before you mount it to the table. Why? Because the compression from the clamps will make this difficult to put together because you want a really good tight grip on your table. So, those are all put together. Now, you clamp it to the table and whatever, or whatever surface you're gonna use it on. Um, the machine comes with two of these clamps. Um, mine have wooden handles. Um, they slide up and down. I always recommend that you open them up all the way. That way you have a lot of space to clamp them on. And I'm gonna show you how I clamp them onto my table. The next thing you're going to do is you're gonna take your bolts and you're gonna stick them in this hole. There is no screwdriver involved. Now, you want to do this before you mount it to the table. Why? Because the compression from the clamps will make this difficult to put together because you want a really good tight grip on your table. So, those are all put together. Now, you clamp it to the table and whatever or whatever surface you're gonna use it on. Um, the machine comes with two of these clamps. Um, mine have wooden handles. Um, they slide up and down. I always recommend that you open them up all the way. That way you have a lot of space to clamp them on. And I'm gonna show you how I clamp them onto my table. Okay, so. Now that it's there, we're gonna turn this camera a little bit. There you go. The clamp, see I'm doing this with one hand. You open up your clamp. There we go. See, it's totally doable to do with one hand. You're gonna slide it on an angle. We're working on a deeper mount option. And then you hold it there with one hand and then you just slide up that clamp 
and then tighten it. So now it's nice and tight and snug. And then you just do the same thing on the other side, angling them out a little bit so that they don't hit your hand or the gears. Okay, so now that it's there, we're gonna turn this camera a little bit. There you go. The clamp. See, I'm doing this with one hand. You open up your clamp. There we go. See, it's totally doable to do with one hand. You're gonna slide it on an angle. We're working on a deeper mount option. And then you hold it there with one hand and then you just slide up that clamp and then tighten it. Come on. There you go. So now it's nice and tight and snug. And then you just do the same thing on the other side, angling them out a little bit so that they don't hit your hand or the gears. Okay, so both of the table um, clamps are there. The screws are installed. These can slide right out. We purposely did not make these threaded. It's very strong the way it is, so you don't need to worry about breaking anything. Slide your needles in and then your yarn guide goes in here and then we slide the row counter in make sure you push that in all the way as far as you can get it and then there you go okay so both of the table um, clamps are there the screws are installed. These can slide right out. We purposely did not make these threaded. It's very strong the way it is, so you don't need to worry about breaking anything. Slide your needles in, and then your yarn guide goes in here. And then we slide the row counter in. Make sure you push that in all the way as far as you can get it. And then there you go. So the last thing that you need to do is install your needles, right? So, well, it's not the last thing, but like, this is how you install the needles. So you see these little slots here. You're gonna take your needle and you're gonna hold it parallel or horizontal or parallel. I can't remember what word it is. Anyways, you're gonna hold it like this and you're gonna just push it over the spring and then slide it down. So then it's riding along that track there. You're gonna do the same for the next one. And you just do that all the way around. The only tricky part is when you go to take them off, the spring, once you take the spring off, all the needles will fall off. So just be ready for that when the time comes. If you really wanna make it simple and you um, wanna not have to be stuck in just that one area, slip out your cams install your needles and then slip them back in. So hopefully that helps. So something that's worth pointing out is that um, making sure you make sure that when you set up your machine and, and when before you get started you have everything you need. Um, I would hate for you to get started and then realize that you don't have everything that you need. Uh, the only, One of the only things that I don't have available right now in um, my shop or available to purchase are heel hooks and I am currently working on that. Now I've heard of stories of people using um, these with um, one of like the soft weights attached to it, um, but I personally have not tried that. I'm, I think I'm just afraid of breaking something, um, but the machines are pretty hard to break, um, but I'm still weary of that. So, um, but anyways, that's how you set everything up. And um, I'm always here if you have any questions and um, I can't wait uh, to see all the socks you guys are going to make. Thanks again for joining and for watching the quick guide. If you have any questions, again, all of the information is in the description box below. And uh, thanks again.